All right, Ryan, thank you. Your full weather is brought to you by Varney 4, the nice car and truck people. Let's start with the advisories because the hits keep coming, right? Here they are. The areas in blue is a winter weather advisory. The areas in pink is a winter storm warning, all for snow arriving around daybreak tomorrow through about this time tomorrow evening. And that snow will be heavy south of the Bangor area. Although Bangor, we're going to get some snow as well. It's going to be a very messy day for us tomorrow into tomorrow night. Out there now, though, you're like, snow. No, what snow, right? Lots of clear skies out there today. Uh, but this very compact, very strong system is just back off to the west of us. There it is. Lots of moisture, lots of energy, lots of everything we need uh, to bring us a pretty good snowfall to the region. Uh, it's going to go mostly south of our area, though, where the heaviest snow will fall. But still, we do have lots of snowfall in the forecast for tomorrow. Let's walk it through it. So out there right now, increasing clouds tonight. Overnight tonight, maybe a couple flurries, not a big deal. Here's around daybreak tomorrow. So 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, it's snowing across the entire area except far northern areas, uh, which could miss this system entirely tomorrow with zero snow up there. Uh, for us, though, here in Bangor, looking at locally heavy snowfall for several hours tomorrow into tomorrow evening. And then here we are tomorrow night about 5 o'clock, all kind of pushing toward the east with some flurries left over. And then we dry out, and then really a nice day for us on Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. A dry stretch is coming. We we haven't said that for a while around here. It's going to be sun filled days for us on Sunday into Monday. We deserve it after the weather coming in here for tomorrow. Now the snowfall is going to look something like this. Now this model has Millinocket getting zero. Bangor getting almost a foot. This will likely be adjusted just a bit. Millinocket maybe an inch or two for you. Bangor probably around nine inches or so here. Uh, further south though and west of the area, more snow there and maybe some rain right along down east areas for us for tomorrow. But over Overall, a significant snowfall is on the way. More as you go south, less as you go north, uh, with down east areas getting lesser amounts there as well due to some rain mixing in at times. So a significant snowfall on the way, a heavy wet snow, lift with your legs, not with your back. It's going to be that kind of snowfall across the area for tomorrow. Uh, not much wind, though, with this right now. So the winds are increasing. We could see wind gusts near 25 miles per hour tomorrow. We've certainly seen windier systems, right? So going forward, so tomorrow it arrives. Heavy snow by morning rush hour tomorrow. It is Saturday. Uh, some wind involved as well. Look for some regional impacts with this because it is a very widespread regional impacting storm. Poor road conditions, heavy wet snow out there, and maybe some power problems as well with that heavy wet snow on the power lines out there. Temperatures are critical, right? 35 here in Bangor today, 32 mill knock it. We'll hang out near freezing tomorrow, thus that heavier wet snow across our area. Temperatures, though, to the north, of course, are colder. Uh, but for us, we're going to start getting warmer again. We can do 40 again on Sunday. For tonight, though, lots of clouds out there. Snow showers late by around daybreak tomorrow. The snow is arriving for tomorrow. Snow and wind, 2 to 5 inches are light. Likely. And again, much more than that in certain areas, especially south of the Bangor region uh, throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, areas for the north, less of that direction with highs near 30. And then looking ahead, your five day forecast shows a story, right? So snow likely tomorrow. Sunday, we're going to melt that snow, a high of 40, 42 for Monday. And then look, we hang out in, uh, near 40 again on Tuesday. Beth and Peter.